When asked to add 12 and 3 tenths plus 5 and 31 hundredths, many students will make errors because they'll set the problem up as a right justified problem, aligning the digits in the rightmost spot rather than aligning digits based on place value. Many times people will give a reminder to line up the decimal point, but the decimal point is probably the most abstract part of this problem. It's better to start looking at the numbers, thinking of what the values of each digit are, and then aligning digits based on their place value. A nice place to start is to just start writing out things that you do know about decimals. In other words, ask the student to copy this diagram of writing one dollar. And at this point, find the one dollar bills and put a box around it. If you think about it, dollar bills are rectangular and look different than the rest of this money. The other thing you can do is find the pennies place, shade that in, because if you think of the pennies, it's a different color than all the other silver change. Now we have the beginning, the dollars place, a decimal point, dimes, which are silver, pennies. If you can create that same type of structure by writing a dollar and remembering, remembering that this digit is talking about whole dollars, this digit is talking about pennies and that there are a hundred of them to make a whole dollar, you now have a way to justify these numbers. Again, it's a simple prompt, write one dollar, box the one dollar bill, shade the penny, because the penny is a darker color than the rest of the change. Now you have some structure to work with. As you look down at another number, like perhaps uh, $46.53, again, find the one dollars place. Find the one dollars place here. If you're going to add that number and that number, you would add your dollars to your dollars. Consider setting up this problem. Three plus one and zero tenths, zero hundredths, or really should be three plus one. To make that less abstract, let's use that same template. Box the ones as in one dollar bills. Now when you set that problem up, instead of thinking of something abstract like lining up the decimals, let's think of lining up the one dollar bills. The other digits go along for a ride. Here we have one dollar, zero dimes, zero pennies, and we can also say that we have zero dimes, zero pennies here. This structure gives us a total of zero pennies, zero dimes, and four ones. Here's a more complicated problem. It looks a little bit more abstract. I'm going to go about it the same way. I'm going to find the ones place in both of these numbers. Think of them as one dollar bills that are rectangular. Once I've identified those, I can align them here. And the other dollar bills, I'm going to put the five in here, and the three dimes, and I have no pennies. I have everything aligned, total of three pennies, five dimes, six one dollar bills.